Overclockers. My name's Chelsea, and I don't know about you, but I cannot wait to get my hands on the new Monster Hunter Wilds, which is set to release on the 28th of February. With the second open beta test recently coming to an end, and the concerns for PC performance issues rising, the question on everyone's mind, will my PC be able to handle it? Grab your longsword and join me on the hunt to learn more about the gameplay features, recommended specs, and the best PCs to play the upcoming game. When it comes to gameplay, Wilds is big. The monsters, battles, and the map are even larger than before. It's a more expansive and seamless open world experience with a focus on storytelling, with fleshed out NPCs, dynamic weather effects for a more realistic world. There's even underwater areas where you can gather materials and exploration is easier thanks to the removal of loading screens, which allows seamless travel between different regions. You'll be pleased to know you can easily play through the story with friends, with Wilds now supporting crossplay between PC, PlayStation 5 and Xbox X and S at launch. Prefer to play solo? Summon a whole team of NPC hunters to help you on the battle. This game is the most accessible in the series, which is sure to draw in many new players along with a sea of returning veterans. However, if you've never played Monster Hunter before, the gameplay can feel a little bit clunky and cumbersome, especially if you've just tried the beta, which is kind of more aimed at experienced players. When the full game launches, there is no rigid tutorial, so you need to learn as you go. This helps with immersion, but can make it a little bit more challenging. Thankfully, there is also a training area, so you can practice with all the different weapons in different battle scenarios. This is handy because you can now carry a second weapon, which can get you out of some really sticky situations. Other long requested updates include improved mounts, so now you can go wherever you want using auto guide to get you to an objective quickly. And you can use a slinger hook to collect loot while mounted. Armour is no longer gender locked, so the fashionistas can get real creative with their outfits now. And finally, palicos are no longer restricted to speaking in their feline language. They are now multilingual, meaning they can speak in English or Japanese. And although this is only a small detail, it's sure to ruffle some feathers. However, the good news is you can always revert it back to the original meowing feline language if you prefer those creature comforts. Monster Hunter Wilds uses Capcom's internal RE engine, with improvements to volumetric lighting and photogrammetry, which are essential for high-quality gaming experience. Cinematic cutscenes look better than ever whilst remaining true to the original Monster Hunter legacy, and the gameplay shown so far reveals incredible quality lighting and textural detail. Visually, Wilds is already looking like quite the upgrade. However, during the beta test, there have been some complaints about the graphics not being quite up to scratch. However, I quite like the visual style, for although there are more browns and greys due to the desert style location, it doesn't lack in colour vibrancy in different areas of the map, showcasing the variety of monsters, fauna and armour options. I would say there's still plenty of juicy visual content to keep me interested anyway, and I really struggle with dull looking games. Considering Capcom is primarily a console-based developer, early reviews reveal it could be a little bit buggy for PC users at launch. However, this is likely to improve with patches and updates over time. One positive sign is that the shader compilation at the start of the game can take quite a long time, which does show that they have made an effort to improve the PC user experience. After the first open beta test, there were lots of complaints about the performance being rough and inconsistencies with the optimization. Even on the top spec PC running at the highest settings, there have still been reports of frame drops and delays with textures loading in the character customization menu, which is concerning. We can only hope that they do iron out these creases ready for the full release. Thankfully, Capcom have taken some of this feedback on board and made improvements which allowed them to lower the minimum spec required so that gamers with older PC setups can still enjoy the game. Before, at least 100 gigabyte of storage was needed. However, this has been reduced down to a slightly more manageable 75 gigabytes. Moving on to the PC requirements, where Capcom have released a PC benchmark tool that can be downloaded via Steam to test your current rig to see how well it will handle the game. 
If you find that your PC struggles, do not fear, as there is still time to upgrade your PC, ready for the game's launch. The system requirements for Monster Hunter Wilds are super detailed, which makes it much easier to understand what sort of performance to expect from four different PC hardware configurations. Minimum specs include an Intel Core i5-10400, i3-12100 or a Ryzen 5 3600, paired with 16GB of memory, and a GTX 1660, RX 5500 XT or any half-decent GPU with at least 6GB of VRAM. These are the bare minimum specs to get the game running and you won't really get a great experience. Expect the game to run at less than 30 FPS with low graphic settings at 720 or 1080p if you enable upscaling. Gross. Recommended specs list the same processors and 16GB of memory as before. However, as we all know, it's your GPU that counts when it comes to gaming. You'll need an RTX 2060, a Radeon RX 6600 with at least 8GB of VRAM required. With upscaling and frame gen enabled, expect a decent experience at 1080p with 60fps at medium graphical settings. High specs surprisingly also list the same processor and memory requirements, but there is a much higher demand for a good graphics card. Play the game at 1440p and 60fps with high graphics settings, you need a RTX 4060 Ti or an RX 6700 XT with 8GB or more VRAM as the minimum requirement once again. Finally, to max things out on ultra graphic settings, you'll need to invest in a high-end PC with Intel Core i5-11600K or i5-12400 paired with 16GB of memory or, if you're Team Red, an AMD Ryzen 7 5800X or Ryzen 7 7700 will do the trick. Graphics-wise, you need a whopping 12GB of VRAM or 16GB if using the optional high-res texture pack DLC. Ideally, a GeForce RTX 4070 Ti Super or Radeon RX 7800 XT and above. With upscaling and frame generation enabled, you should get 60fps at 4K with ultra graphic settings. As with most modern titles, you will need an SSD no matter what settings you choose to play on. I'm pleased that Capcom released such a detailed system requirements list. However, it does reveal that Monster Hunter Wilds is very demanding to run. It seems like frame gen and upscaling tech such as NVIDIA, DLSS and AMD FSR are a must-have, which can increase latency leading to input lag, which is super frustrating with such a tricky action game like this. Now we've gone over the requirements, let's move on to some of the best PCs to play. The affordable pick is the OC UK Gaming Graphite. This PC is available for $1,199.99 and is part of the pre-built range, meaning it's available next day. With an Intel Core i7-12700KF, 16GB of memory and RTX 4060 Ti, it meets the requirements for 1440p in high graphics settings. The 1TB M.2 SSD has plenty of space to install Monster Hunter, and the 240mm air cooler with RGB ensures your components stay cool in the heat of the battle. To play at 1440p Ultra or even 4K settings, I'd go for the OC UK Gaming Mac 3. Also part of our pre-built PC range, this system offers excellent value for money. You get a Ryzen 5700X3D, one of the best gaming CPUs, paired with an RTX 4070 Super, 32GB of memory and an attractive mesh front case with 6 RGB fans. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is also included to keep you connected, all for just under 1500 to max things out and play at Ultra in 4K with the high res texture packs, it's best to invest in a PC like the OC UK Gaming Condor. This AMD equipped powerhouse comes with the Ryzen 7 7800 X3D, 32GB of memory and RX 7900 XTX with 24GB of VRAM as standard, plus a 360mm AIO cooler with attractive RGB case. Best of all, it's customizable and built to your specs, so you can tweak the case, storage, memory, and more to suit your requirements for other games. The base spec comes in at just under £2,500. Despite the intense requirements needed to run this game, I am obsessed! I love the huge weapons and challenging battles, plus never-ending exploration opportunities. The graphics will never be perfect with such an expansive game like this, but what I really appreciate is the attention to detail in the art direction and beautifully disgusting monsters. 
Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and leave me a comment letting me know if you're looking forward to playing Monster Hunter Wilds. While you're here, check out one of our other Can My PC Play videos.